These are night vision goggles. The box says binoculars, but as you can see, it's just a screen. And I received these from the Amazon Vine Voice Review Program to review for free. If you wanted to buy them, they'd cost you $55 to $60. Now, I have been given these to review for free, but I have not been paid for my review, and my opinions are my own. So in the box, you have a little nylon strap, a instruction booklet, a USB-A to C cable, which I'm assuming is a charging cable, and the goggles themselves. Inside here you have a microfiber cleaning cloth and there is a protective plastic cover over the goggles here. So it does have a quarter by 20 tripod mount there. These say model Z3 on the bottom. Um, and on the top we have a menu, a mode, a home plus button, an IR minus button, a power button, and a camera button. And there's something here that says near far on this guy. So it looks like this is the camera, and I suspect that guy over there is an infrared illuminator. Now there is a plastic um, covering over the camera. It's hard to see, but there is a little tab down here, and I think I might need to get a pair of tweezers or pliers so I don't get my fingers all over the lens there, but you do have to take this little plastic cover off. All right, so I was able to get that little plastic cover off of there. It was harder than it needed to be if this tab had been sticking out farther it could have grabbed it with my fingers. I had to go get a pair of tweezers and pull that thing off. Now on the side here, there is a rubber door that has the USB-C port for charging and a micro SD or trans flash card slot right down here. And Inside of this is a card, and it, it inserts upside down from, you know, the top. And this is a SunDisk Ultra 32 gigabytes. So it said it included a 32 gigabyte TransFlash card, and this is an actual brand name Nice TransFlash card. So I'm impressed by the quality of the card I got with this unit. All right, so a brief rundown of the buttons. This guy here is the power button. If you push and hold it for about three seconds, the blue light will come on and then the video screen will turn on. Now you have a mode button. There's three modes. There's video recording mode, there's camera recording mode, and there's playback mode. So you basically push this three times to cycle through those modes. There's up and down buttons here. So by default in the daytime, it uses a regular video camera with an IR cut filter. And that's the lowest IR setting, which is no IR. And then if you tap this button, you can go up one through five, and that's the IR illuminator here um, that puts IR light out. And essentially in the daytime, you don't really need that IR illuminator, but at nighttime, when these are night vision goggles, you would turn that up and turn up the light here. So this camera is an infrared sensitive camera. It is not a light amplification camera, so it does require infrared light to be able to see things, but it has built in a pretty strong infrared light. So I'll take it out later tonight and show you in the darkness how that all works. Um, you push this button to take a picture or to take a video, and then you push and hold the power button to turn it off. So those are the basic functionalities of this guy. Um, it has a 42 megapixel camera that you can go up to 42 megapixels with, and it does a digital zoom. So if you push and hold the plus button, or push and hold the minus button, you can digitally zoom in and out. Um, now you do have to focus using this guy here, so just like with the binoculars or any other optics, um, if you're looking at something far away, you're going to have to be turning this until you get a clear view. So you're going to have to watch the view, turn this, and focus on what you're looking at. And one thing you can do is you can zoom in to the object you want to focus on, focus it so it comes in clear, and then zoom out to get a better view of the whole thing. So you can use this zoom as a focus zoom magnifier. So it seems to do okay in the daytime. Um, I'm going to charge it up and then at night I will take some photos and video at nighttime and see how well this infrared illuminator works. So the box comes with a USB A to C charging cable. I just plugged it into my USB C power delivery cable and it's charging just fine. So pretty much any USB C cable will charge this guy. So I took this guy outside last night and I played with it. Um, it is an infrared detecting camera with an infrared illuminator. 
And so any time that you have it in infrared mode, this light is on. And so any camera that is um, sensitive to infrared light will see that like a little spotlight moving around. So keep in mind that, you know, you can see infrared security cameras, the lights that infrared security cameras put out with this guy, but they can also see the light that this guy puts out. Um, it's not really useful indoors because it has enough zoom that you're looking at things, you know, in a really small field of view indoors. So it's really more for outdoor usage. And because it broadcasts infrared light out here, you can't use it through a window um, because it just shines infrared light and it reflects off the window. So you do have to be outside with this. Now the screen here will light up your face and it's going to, you know, mess up your night vision because you're looking through the screen here. So the only thing you'll be able to really see is through that screen um, and your face will be visible. But it does a reasonable job of viewing things in the near field, you know, so 50 to 200 feet, say. Um, I could see things across the lake, but that wasn't from the illumination from this device. It was simply because there was, you know, just enough haze reflecting light around in the city environment I'm in um, that you could kind of see stuff across the lake. Um, and so I tried out the digital zoom and you know you could zoom into things far away at night. Um, the image quality wasn't super great at night with a super big digital zoom but that's kind of what you'd expect. Um, so you can be looking at the videos I'm showing over here and kind of make your own judgments about if this the image quality is good enough for what you want to use it for. Um, you know, at the price point, it's just a little more expensive than a toy, so it's not an inexpensive, it, it's not super inexpensive to just buy and let your kids play with. And kids would love to play with it, so it would be great for kids to play with. Um, but the price point's a little bit high for that, I think. And yet the price point is pretty low for a serious piece of gear. Um, so it's kind of in that middle range where it has decent capabilities for a toy, um, but it's not really high quality night vision gear. Um, you know, so if, if you're looking in that mid-range, this might be a product for you. I don't see myself using it a whole bunch, mostly because I'm not out at night outdoors a lot.